in this building, you'll not only find the president of the Ori Georgetown Technical College, you'll also find high school students from across the county. Inside the building, students are changing classes just like they would at their base high schools. But here on the Tech Campus, they are offered new opportunities. And Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Marilyn Four, remembers how the idea of an early college high school began. Actually, the concept of the early college dates back five to six years ago. In those days, we were having discussions with the superintendent, then Dr. Juita Postwaite, President Wilson, and uh, we talked about the possibility of somehow having an effect on the graduation rate in high school and closing the gap between the time that students leave high school with or without a degree from high school and coming to the technical college. That gap is typically between 17 and 18 years old to a 26 year old. So the, the concept was let's take that group of students it's called the middle quartile students in our high schools, those students that have the ability but may not be motivated, maybe those C students, and put them on a college campus and give them an opportunity in a small classroom setting, very motivated faculty and just enthusiastic atmosphere to be able to build their confidence and to complete high school. At the same time, if they are moving along academically at the pace that makes them college ready, then when they're ready, then let's let them register for college courses. And the ideal would be that at the end of their four years with us from ninth through 12th grade, not only would this middle quartile students who have a high risk of not completing high school, but they would complete high school plus earn either a certificate, a diploma, or an associate degree with college. We realized that that partnership needed a business component, and therein lies where we sought uh, a strong business leader in the area, and that happened to be Doug Wendell. So the triad grew the concept into the early college and we are into the third year of it. School principal Joan Grimet explain how the concept works here on our campus. I bring an incoming freshman to, to the program. They begin their freshman year by taking all high school classes very similar to the classes that they would be taking uh, back at their base high school with the exception of a program called AVID. AVID uh, is an international program that provides uh, extra support and instruction for students like our early college students who are students in the middle who have the potential to go to college but may, may not have realized that opportunity. One way this program helps them with that preparation is through the use of coaches. Okay, so we need to find two circles with the same scale. It's, it could be the same diameter or radius. Yeah. Okay, everyone agree with that? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to write that down. College students from Tech as well as Coastal Carolina University serve as coaches. And they not only help these high school students improve their knowledge, but they find that they enjoy some added benefits themselves. Yeah, some of us are actually, and she's going for her master's as well. Latoya and I are going for our master's. Um, and this is just good experience for us in the school district, learning how the school district works and how um, the students are and just in general learning a little bit more about the job before we actually get in the school district. It's also helped me to observe some of the other teachers here and learn from their really effective teaching methods and um, how to relate to students. Information Technology Department Chair Steve Luce worked closely with Principal Grimmett to offer computer classes to the early college students. The first semester that we taught these classes, the early college classes in computer technology, uh, it was a learning uh, uh, experience for uh, my department uh, and we had to uh, work through some issues and some of those issues were uh, dealing with the students um, to make sure that they understand what deadlines are. 
Um, and then uh, with faculty, uh, we're teaching, uh, you know, uh, the early college classes of, are being taught by uh, college faculty. And so the issues there, um, you know, when, when students come to college, uh, you know, we don't stay on top of them as much. Uh, they have to be prepared to do things on their own, and they have to manage their time. But when you deal with high school students, uh, that environment uh, for them, uh, they, they don't know as much about that environment. So we had to work with Joan and, and, and uh, the administrative people at uh, early college, and it's become a learning experience for us, and we've done, a, a, I think, a real good job with that. Uh, the faculty that teach those classes, the early college classes, uh, have learned uh, how to deal with the students. And, and one of the nice things about it, um, the behavior of the co uh, high school students has been remarkable. They have been uh, so good, um, and they've, they've done a great job. Uh, we've had to make some adjustments here, uh, but they've also had to do some adjusting as well. But the, but the students are, are wonderful, uh, and, and it's been a pleasure working with the, uh, with the early college. Mary Canfield is the current student body president, and she remembers how she first found out that she would be eligible to attend early college high school. I was actually in eighth grade, and my eighth grade teacher, Miss Lee, she gave me um, an envelope, and it had told me that I was eligible to be in the early college program, and we had done some more research about it with my mom, and she was extremely excited about it, and then um, we came to the first meeting, like the little meeting that tells you what it's about and everything you meet all the people that's eligible to make it and it tells you all the different things you have to do the interview processes um, the questionnaires you had to fill out and it was pretty awesome I was excited it was a new challenge and I was she was among the first high school students inducted into the honor society usually available only to college students and she is excited as she looks towards the future because we were talking to um, some of the college students, and a lot of them actually thought we were college students until we were like, look from the early college program, they're like, this is cool. <laughs> and um, we've actually made a lot of new college friends. Um, I know me and Katie and Tina, we went to one of the um, meetings last week, and we talked to some of the college students. Um, it was our very first meeting since we've been inducted, and um, it feels great to be able to get involved with the college and everything. It makes you feel like you're a part of it, so I enjoy it. Physical education instructor Tammy Lee is responsible for providing a high school curriculum in a college environment. Our program over at Ori Georgetown Technical College does not provide us with a gymnasium, so we're pretty unique in how we incorporate physical education into our um, classroom. And we have the opportunity to use the swimming pool here at Coastal. We have a certified swim instructor. They also allow us to use their track when we come over here for um, track and field. We also are able to use their tennis court. And at some time, we also go into their gymnasium when they are on break. One of the questions we get asked is, so how is this possible? How can they finish four years of high school and potentially uh, earn two years of college within four to five years of entering high school? And that. Uh, that's, uh, the answer to that question is that it's through dual enrollment courses. Uh, for example, uh, to graduate from high school, students must take U.S. history. Uh, so how that works here at Early College High School, the students have the opportunity to take U.S. history as a college course. So they take history 201 and 202 in lieu of taking a, a year-long uh, high school history course. So as often as we can, and as soon as the students are ready for those courses that have similar course titles at the high school level, we enroll the students in dual enrollment courses here through Ori Georgetown Tech, or so that they're, they're earning both high school and college credit. It's hard to believe that we're into our third year and that with the first group of students that we will see them walk across the stage next year. We will have a big ceremony for them. Uh, we uh, hope that many of them will stay with us uh, beyond their graduation point because it will take uh, probably another year for some of them to complete an associate degree. Whatever they complete, we will be celebrating with them their success in completing high school and completing having, a, let's say, a major step of their college work underway. So, on any given day, you can find yourself sitting next to a student who is not only completing an assignment for a class like yours, but is satisfying the requirements to graduate from high school, the early college high school. For Techno, 
I'm Israela Brooks.